Manny, um, first off, obviously, um, a win last week away to City Liverpool. So, just that game, first of all, touching on it, how do you reflect upon it? Um, it was a good result. Uh, I thought it was very difficult condition, so the team done well to get result in that, those conditions. Um, obviously, first half we went 1-0 uh, down, but it was a good reaction in the second half. And, yeah, we just a professional job, really. We went there to do a job, and we done the job, and we kept it moving. Yeah, nice to be back out there as well. Obviously, you missed the Bromley game for illness and then failed getting postponed. Um, you know, how, how did you use that break? Was it a nice rest for yourself? Yeah, it was a good rest. Um, yeah, as, as you said, I was a bit ill, so it was good to obviously recover and then get, get training again. And um, it's been a good couple of weeks and, yeah, so all good. Yeah, and just uh, away from the pitch, obviously being quite hectic as well. Um, you know, yesterday you went with a, a few lads to, to North Tees Hospital to, to visit some children and, you know, elderly patients. So is that, you know, nice to see the other sort of side of football and, you know, see, um, you know, everyone away from the pitch? Definitely, definitely. I think it was a really like rewarding uh, a visit, seeing um, babies raging from six, six weeks old all the way up to 16 years old. So it's really good just to see the impact that you have on um, young kids as well really really rewarding and it was a really special moment um, we spent a bit of time there went round to different wards as well seeing all the patients yeah it was really 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 rewarding yeah really good yeah and it's, it's obviously not the, the first bit of community work you, you do you know you, you do a lot with the, with the foundation the regular visits um, to, to different sort of sessions so just how nice has it been a, a part of a club with, with such a sort of community feel to it I think this is probably one of the one of the few clubs that have been that are really big on community visits and, st and stuff like that, which I think is really good. I think you know, the community are very important and um, it's good to inspire people and to see like the effect you have on the community as well. So um, it, is, it is really good, really inspiring. And I I'm happy that the club is really active on that. And um, I'm, I always enjoy doing those visits. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep it going, definitely. Yeah, and we'll just move on to this weekend's action. Of course, Chesterfield, um, top of the league. So how... Do you assess them? You know what do you know about them already? Um, yeah, we played them in the re re reverse fixture, and um, it's going to be a tough game. Um, we know how how good they are as a team. Uh, as I said, we obviously played against them, so we've been working on things in training. So hopefully that comes out. It's always hard to transcend everything you do in training on the pitch, but we're, we're going to try and do that. And we know the threats that they pose, so we're going to try and stop that and um, impose our game on them as well. So it will be an interesting game. Yeah, and you've already touched on the previous meeting back in August. Can you remember much about that one? Yeah, so we started off really well. The first 20 minutes, we were on top of the game. Um, we controlled the game uh, a lot, and then we had a couple of injuries, which kind of just upset the balance a bit, uh, kind of threw us off balance, and we just didn't really recover from that and ended up conceding in the last five minutes of the game and ended up losing 3-2. But it, should, it was definitely a, a result that we could have, a game that we could have won, and we probably should have won, but um, it's just another learning curve. We, we, we take heart from that and hopefully we use that experience and go into this game hoping to make things right. Yeah, and obviously at the start of a, a you know, hectic, festive schedule as doors, there's quite a few games coming up now. Where, you know, after the Wheelstone game, there's, there's a lot of minutes to be played, um, you know, a lot of points to be won and lost. So just in general, how would you no normally feel about the festive period? Obviously, a lot of games to, to be played. Yeah, festive is always a um, a special one. Um, there's obviously a lot of games, as you said, so we just gotta just just get through it. Really, it, it's it's so important that like, every team's got the same amount of fixtures, so we we know how it goes. Um, you, you're playing what games every three days, so yeah, we just gotta have we, we've got the squad for it. Hopefully, so we we get through that and we try and get as many points as we possibly can during that period. It's gonna be tough, but we just gotta get on with it. We just gotta be resilient and keep going. Yeah, and just in terms of ending the air on a high, of course, two home games to go, um, Chesterfield and then obviously Oldham on Boxing Day. So, um, you know, is that always at the back of your mind? You, you know, you want to send the fans home happy going into the new year? Exactly that, exactly that. You want to give them Christmas presents. So um, they always support us. So we want to give them something back, especially for Christmas. So hopefully we can get the win on Boxing Day and we can get a few results and make it a very uh, festival and cheerful festive period.